Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 10 Oracle coins by market cap. We're going to start with Chainlink at number one, followed by Peeth, Taylor, Ben, Apitri, Uma, RLC, Winkling, All Right Chain, and then we'll end it with XYO Network at number 10. Let's get straight into it. Chainlink against BDC. Here we are for Chainlink. Okay, so Chainlink is really out of the falling channel, right? This is something like a falling channel not exactly perfect but still a falling channel nevertheless right it's still a falling channel and we're already out of it so we are anticipating uh, a bullish continuation for chaining against bdc towards the upside so another thing is that we're already above the skinny pink line clearly above the skinny pink line so the bias the bullish bias is on it's on we are bullish for chaining and we are hoping to take big trades for chaining however however uh, yeah we need to see the right shoulder uh we are we are estimating right we are correcting right now and we're correcting in a very controlled manner and if you look very carefully chain link is in a falling channel <gasps> we love this anyway there is a noisy area over here so we're anticipating chaining to drop down to probably around three 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 thousand three we're three thousand four right now so just a little bit little bit more to go and after that uh, we should be heading back up for chilling against btc and we are anticipating chilling to do very 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 well eventually as we head back towards the upside to the all-time high for chilling btc link against usdt is looking sweet as well the thing about chilling usd and chilling btc is that the noisy area for Chainlink USD is further away from the noisy area of Chainlink BTC. Uh, again, uh, we were at 4,003. We were anticipating 3,003 for Link BTC. For Link USD, uh, we'll probably drop to us about 11 bucks. So, uh, Link USD might still have a little bit more to go before it heads back up, right? We are again also above the skinny pink line and we are remaining with our bullish bias for Chainlink. Uh, yeah, you can see very, very clearly this is a higher high, right? But a lower high on the MACD, lower high on the RSI, which means that it's a double bearish divergence and we are correcting. What I don't want to see is a very clear mountain range over here and we stretch it all the way until the skinny pink line comes up. So it's like, mm, we prefer not to have things like this. The best thing that could happen for chaining against USD in the correction is we go down straight, we hit where we expect there to be strong support and we have a Super nice V recovery. Best ever uh, price action that we could get from chaining. If this was to happen, right? Very fast down, pew, fast up. So yeah, but again, <laughs> not everything is uh, as we anticipate it to be. So we got to be uh, a little bit more careful uh, with chaining USD. I feel like chaining's move is on link BDC. Because previously when chaining was rising, right? Uh, when chaining had a super run over here, uh, the move actually happened on BDC, right? Uh, the chart patterns were very, very clear on uh, link BDC, right? Look at this, A, B, C, D, E. Clear A, B, C, D is A, B, C, D, E, and then palm are out. Retest the uh, support. This was a resistance. Resistance, once broken, becomes support. Retest support, strong rally, right? Went very close to the skinny pink line. Bounce off of it, very close of it, up, up. So respect the skinny pink line as long as it's in a bullish trend you know above the skinny pink line we remain with our bullish bias as well so we just keep anticipating anticipating more and more upside for uh link pdc right again something like an ascending but uh, you can also consider this as an a b c d e right up again this was also a very nice a b c d e that came in a b c d e up right so very very beautiful move uh, by link against bdc and this was when uh, everyone was actually collapsing but chainlink was an outlier chainlink was the only coin that was rising so could chainlink be an outlier again uh, for here again uh we are not too sure what chainlink is going to do against bdc right we could be doing something like this right a b c d e before we hit higher right i mean of course we could also just zip up like that but we'll take things one step at a time right link against usd yeah we're also in a correction right now so we don't know how much lower it's going to go uh, we're anticipating strong support around this area right we might not drop uh, to like 11, 50, 40 maybe. Uh, we, we might just drop a little bit, sweep the lows over here, and then we go back up. Something like this could happen as well. So again, I think that Chainlink's party is on the BTC pair. Peeth Network. Peeth. 
Pith is fairly new, so we don't have much information on it, right? Pith is like, yeah, yeah, there's a consolidation over here. Again, something like an ABCD. Is this an ABCD? Yes, no? Not too sure, right? Uh, something like a falling channel over here. But uh, we could also just, you know, zip lower. So it's a little bit difficult for us to kind of guess what Pith is going to do. So we're going to have to give the Pith whales more time to do their thing. And when it comes to Oracle, it's only Chainlink that's in the top 100. Okay, Pith is coming up. But Chainlink is the only one, 15. And after that, nothing at 25, 35, 45, you know, up to number 100. And after that, from 100, there's nothing. 110, 120, up to 180. It's like, what? Okay, so I, I have a strange feeling, right? The Oracle category is going to see a very big rise eventually. That's my suspicion. Moving on, Telor Tributes. Telor, TRB against BTC. Here we are for Telor. Um, yes, there's a rally right now for TRB BTC. We are still in a bullish trend, but okay, we're very close to the top. So does this look like a bearish reversal? No. I mean, if we get something like this, sure. Descending triangle. Uh, but I suspect there's still more upside for TRB against BTC. The only thing is that TRB was a first mover. So uh, it could be exhausted by now. So that's why you must rotate. Rotate your profits. Remember to secure your profits, move it to another coin. It's very important for that. Uh, it allows you to maximize your full potential of the bull run, right? Because not everything will be up at the same time. It's like a musical chair, you know, it takes turn. So yeah, but anyway, TRB is a first mover, right? When everyone was like going sideways or down, TRB, TRB was going up, we'd be like, huh? Bro, what's happening, right? Uh, TRB against USD. Okay, okay, it's very close to the top over here. So I don't, don't know if this is already the top, right? Because we could be doing something like this. We could be coming down for a wave C, right? This is already an A, up for a B. Such a beautiful move, right? It's only one straight line up. No consolidation, no accumulation. It's like, yeah, no, no BS move. This is a true no BS move by TRB. But there's always a price to pay. The higher and the faster you go, the more vol volatile it is uh, when it's time to correct, right? And it, this could be a stretched out, stretched out uh, accumulation correction uh, period for TRB, right? So again, we're not entirely sure. We're gonna have to take things one step at a time. Um, I suspect you know we could or we could also take out the highs over here, right? We could consolidate and break out higher, right? Sure, of course. Uh, but oh, I think it's kind of uh, exhausted. TRB is kind of exhausted, right? Look, look at this super duper overbought so yeah again we're gonna have to be patient and we're gonna wait for some clarity for trb first uh, ban protocol yes sir uh, ban if you look at ban against btc here we are for ban anything for ban btc nope ban usdt uh, when we look at ban usdt anything yeah nope uh, it's like a falling channel right look at this falling channel if we broke out of it uh, we are in some sort of a consolidation but uh, I fear that this could be a head and shoulders and we could drop lower uh, still, right? Uh, we could stretch out the accumulation period. So we're moving on from ban protocol. Api! Api tree BTC. Here we are for Api tree. Okay, Api is very interesting. Why? Because Api is moving sideways. Usually when a bearish trend ends, we go sideways for a while before going back up. So if this is the bearish trend, we're going sideways. I suspect the next move is towards the upside. Ta -da! If you look at RP3. Apu! What's Apu? Thank you, come again. RP3 USDT. Here we are for RP3. Uh, yeah, okay, we are above the skinny pink line. Which means that, ooh, we could really be in a bullish trend, right? Uh, yeah, this whole thing could be like a left shoulder. You see this? And this whole thing is a, a, a head. And then a right shoulder could be in the making. Ooh, boys and girls, this is very interesting, right? Uh, you can also pull a resistance line across, right? Week to week. We don't know if this is an intentional week or not, but again, we just consider the top of the week to the top of this week. So week to week, uh, this is a resistance line. So this whole thing could be an A, B. Hopefully we get a very nice C though, D, E, right? Or we get an ascending triangle of sorts. And this will confirm a potential breakout towards the upside. So we're kind of excited for RP3, but um, yeah, you can see some selling happening. 
So again, the best thing that could happen is we get something like a falling channel, right? If you look previously, before RP3 rose up, right, there was a nice squeeze that came, right? A, B, C, D. Okay, it's not as obvious, right? E, something like that. <laughs> it's a symmetrical triangle, and then, bam, we broke out again. We were hoping for the same thing over here. So we need to see some some clear chart pattern first uh, before making any moves, right? Because, because there is potential that RP3 could still head lower, right? And we could still extend the accumulation before breaking up, right? So yeah, but we are feeling pretty confident about RP3 eventually breaking up because the BDC pair is already moving sideways. And this is something that we want to see. It's, it's possibly, possibly the very, 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 very beginning of a new trend change. <laughs> There's RP3 for you. Uh, Umar. Let's look at Uma, Uma BTC. Here we are for Uma. Same thing. Uma is also going sideways, right? Uh, there was a very nice uh, mountain range over here, something like a descending, right? Mountain one, mountain two, three. Pam! We should have collapsed lower, but we didn't. What happened? We rose higher. We took out all the clusters of stop buys over here. So essentially invalidating the target for Uma, right? The moment you take out the closest uh, mountain before we break, right? Closest towards the break. Uh, then, yeah, that we will consider it as uh, largely invalidated. So, UMA BDC is invalidated, uh, which means that we could be shifting towards a bullish trend. Hey, yo, bro. UMA USDT. Okay, let's see what happens. Ah, it takes us to Binance. So, for UMA, yeah, again, same thing as well, right? Um, We were anticipating moves towards the downside, right? But the moment, the moment you start seeing uh, bearish chart patterns being invalidated, as in the price going higher than the top of all of these um, bearish mountains, right? This is mountain, 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 down. Mountain, mountain, mountain. This is the descending, right? Palm down, right? But immediately, palm, we rose back up, invalidating this entire thing, right? Uh, now we've already risen here. We've invalidated this. We are almost invalidating this, but we have to go up here first. Right. By the time you go up here, uh, if you want to make an entry, right, uh, it would have been too late, right? We'll probably do something like this. Again, inverse head and shoulders, right? Go go close to breaking this high, but not break it. Come back down, reconsolidate before truly breaking it. That's my expectation for Uma against USD, right? So I kind of like what I see. I think that uh, Uma is also going to be largely, largely returning back towards a bullish trend because if you look at this with bullish lenses, you will be able to see values, right? Values one, values two, maybe values three. Inverse head and shoulders. Beautiful. Inverse head and shoulders is a beautiful bullish reversal. Head and shoulders is a beautiful bearish reversal, right? Look at this. The start of a bearish trend. So hopefully we could see the start of a bullish trend. Ah, that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? So that's uh, our take for UMA. I exact RLC, RLC against BDC. Here we are for RLC. RLC is, okay, we like RLC. You know why? Because RLC is in a huge, huge uh, accumulation phase, right? We've been going sideways for a very, very long time. And we like it when we see falling channels, because this means that a uh, break is more likely than not in the cuts, right? Look at this, falling channels. We love it. So we, we got a falling channel over here. And we are kind of already out of it, right? There's a retrace towards the support. And now we're zipping back up. So it's like, eh, okay. You can also pull this across and consider this a potential, potential squeeze, right? And this could be a bullish reversal for RLC. The, the thing we can't tell is whether if this is the big break, right? The break for good. Woo! Yeah. So always remember that the longer the accumulation, the higher it is if and when it breaks towards the upside. So we want to see a break. But we can't tell whether if this is going to be, you know, if we were to rally back up, right? If this is going to be it or we could still, you know, come back down and reaccumulate. The thing is, we don't know. So again, you have to take things. We have to take things one step at a time for RLC, BDC. LRC, yo, bro, bro, RLC, yo, STT. Here we are. Uh, yes, sir. We'll consider this as invalidated. Reason being, we've already taken out the right shoulder. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. We dropped down. We were expecting more downside, but it didn't come. And then we rose higher. We took out the right shoulder of the head and shoulders. Head and shoulders are bearish sharp patterns. 
So that's it. We consider this as invalidated. Is it ready for a move back up yet? Uh, yeah, it could be though. If you look over here and you, and you view this from bullish lenses, this is an A, up for a B, down for a C, up for a D. I think we're getting an E. We're consolidating for an E. Yo, I think RLC could be about to go para, yo. Woohoo! Uh, but again, we'll take things one step at a time. I think that's a huge, huge potential that RLC could be heading back up. And we're in the consolidation. Yeah, very interesting RLC. How high do I think we could go? Mm, if I had to guess, four bucks, around four bucks. Yeah, around four bucks, close to four bucks around here, right? This is a very noisy area. So around this area, four bucks, plus minus four bucks, sub four bucks, I would say. So we find resistance at sub four bucks. We will come back down, consolidate before continuing higher. So that's my take for RLC. If this whole thing is a wave one, right? And this whole thing is a wave two, we're very likely in the midst of a wave three. We'll probably get a wave four and then up again for a wave five, completing the bullish move for RLC. That's our expectation, right? But of course, if RLC BDC were to go parabolic, obviously the USD pair is gonna go parabolic as well. So we could be going to like, I don't know, triple digits, but I don't see it on the USD pair though. Let me see if I can see anything here. RLC. Ah, more info. Okay, but no, it's not. It's not a squeeze. It's not a squeeze. So, yeah, I'm going to have to take things one step at a time. <laughs> one step at a time for RLC. So, we'll anticipate uh, these highs to be taken out. Probably going towards close to 10 bucks. All right. Now, we're at 154. So, it's still a long way to go for RLC. Wink, link. Wink, link against BTC. Uh, if you look at it on KuCoin, you will see the wink, link. It's also in a gigantic squeeze. A beautiful, beautiful squeeze, right? Very important for us not to take out these lows. We were very close to taking out these lows, but it didn't happen. Boom, suddenly a rally back up. And now we're in some sort of a consolidation. I hope that we get a nice symmetrical, a clear A, B, C, D, E. As the skinny pink line comes down, and we break the skinny pink line, skinny pink line starts curving back up. Oh then we switch. We switch our buyers to bullish for Winkling. That would be awesome. Absolutely awesome. So we're looking forward to it. Uh, we would love to have more clarity first. We're in a retrace right now. I hope that this retrace does not take out these lows. Retrace a little bit, uh, complete a C, get a D and an E, and that's it. Break out! Sayonara! Bitches! Wink against USD. Uh, win USD. Bro. Win. Okay. So you see, we have an alert here. <laughs> it's actually in our watch list. Reason being, if you look very carefully, right? Wink has a nice, beautiful, something like an inverse head and shoulders, something like that. And, and because we are anticipating a right shoulder to be completed here, right? And we think that it will drop to... Okay, let, let me just give you... It's a gift for you. <laughs> We're expecting Wink to drop to 844. Right now we're at 8.96, so just a little bit more. And then from 8.44, pum, we blast off. Uh, that's our expectation, right? We're already above the skinny pink line. And we're anticipating much more upside eventually for Wink. But uh, we're not going to have upside targets yet until we see clear bullish reversals because we could still come back under the skinny pink line. Right? The moment we come back under the skinny pink line, then we'll have to go back to the drawing board and re-evaluate things, right? Uh, we could be stretching out the accumulation period before uh, a big break, right? But uh, if all goes well, yeah, I think this is going to happen. So the secret number is 844. This is on Binance though. So maybe on a different exchange, it could be different. But on Binance, I'm expecting 844 and that's it. We're going to blast off from there. All right, chain. Yes, sir. All right against BDC. Here we are for all right. Hey, yo, bro. Where's all right? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right against BDC is... Yeah, we're hitting a skinny pink line, right? We almost, almost took this out, but we didn't. Almost took it out. Um, Anything for all right? Not exactly. It, it feels like we're curving back up, right? Um, yeah, this whole thing, you can argue that something like an inverse hand shoulders in the making, sure. And you can you can count five ways, right? One, two, three, four, five. Hey, you see that? So we don't know if this is going to be an A, B, C kind of a chart pattern, or this could be five waves down. 
So we have to be very careful about Aura. Aura against USD. Look at it on Shikuan Central. Okay, but Aura against USD looks good. Reason being, it's quite obvious, right? Because it's quite obvious, right? You can count the five waves. One, two, three, A, B, C, D. Yeah, very likely we'll get an E. So the question, the question we have is, what kind of an E are we going to get? Are we going to get a falling channel kind of an E? Are we going to get um, a symmetrical triangle kind of an E? Right. Uh, is wave D done yet? Okay, we're not entirely sure. Right. Uh, there is a double bearish divergence, right? Higher high on the price, but lower high on the MACD, lower high on the RSI. So potentially, we could be coming back down. I hope not, but potentially we could, right? And we could also count five waves, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, this could be one, two, three, four, five sub waves. This could be an ending fifth wave diagonal, right? Before we head back down. So, yeah, I think Ori should be consolidating first, right? Yeah, I mean, of course, we could also just blast off out of nowhere, but I think it's exhausted. We could see some weakness over here, right? And the wheels have been selling. Heaviest selling happened over here. Heaviest, heaviest selling. So, you gotta be careful. Watch out for the volume, right? Volume is a very good telltale sign of whether if things are, you know, going to be, you know, close to the top or not, right? Everything kind of checks out. High volume, five waves towards the upside, uh, double bearish divergence. If we go a little bit higher, right, this could be a triple bearish divergence, uh, which will also coincide with a potential uh, ending fifth wave diagonal before we hit lower. Right? Something like this could happen as well. So, yeah, I preach caution for all right. <laughs> well, well, Optimistic, but we're cautiously, cautiously optimistic. XYO! Sounds like a Coldplay album. Para, para, paradise. Okay, so for XYO against BDC, I think we're going to drop towards this noisy area, right? We're attempting to break back up above the skinny pink line, which is good, right? Uh, you can pull a resistance line across. Support over here. Falling channel, boys and girls. It's a falling channel, but we're not, we're not uh, up and above yet. We haven't broken. Uh, the resistance. So there is a chance that the falling channel could continue, right? It could still continue lower, right? Uh, if if we were to form a gigantic, gigantic ABCDE, right? XYO could still head lower. Para, para, paradise. XYO against USD. Uh, we we'll look at it on KuCoin. Okay, okay, let's look at it on Gate. Anything? Oh, but we like it. We like XYO. Oh boy, this is good. Okay, let me tell you why it's good. First, there's a very nice break of the resistance. Bam! We love it when we see volume buying pressure. We love it, we love it. And we're above the skinny pink line. Oh my god, this is sweet. Um, but we're in a very strong retrace. So the question we ask ourselves is how low are we going to go? We'll probably, my guess is we'll probably take out this week here. Around 5,000. We go under 5,000, not take out the skinny pink line, start bouncing back up, right? Because this correction in itself, this dip in itself, is something like a falling channel as well. So it's only a matter of time before we go back up. Ooh. You see that? Right. Um, but it's not exactly what you would consider as a... Uh, a, B, C, D, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, this is something else, right? Uh, again, uh, you can actually do something like this as well, right? You can pull a resistance across here, right? And you can also call this a inverse head and shoulders. You see that? Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Para, para, paradise. <laughs> again, no. Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to drop a little bit lower. Yeah, probably sub 5,000. Sub 5,000. Okay, not 5,000. 0 0.5. We are 0 0.52. So it probably drops to like 4.9 something. Again, my guess is 4.948 maybe. And after that, we come back up. I won't anticipate us to break the skinny pink line, right? There could be very volatile moves as we consolidate, right? Uh, because this was a volatile move towards the upside. Volatile up, 151%. Volatile down, potentially. 49% so it's it's very volatile uh, so uh, again I'm ex expecting something like this potentially as we hit higher right some sort of a consolidation over here right above the skinny pink line before continuing higher right 
solidifying right cementing the uh the bullish reversal in the form of a inverse head and shoulders you see that Again, we're not entirely sure, but uh, we can't say for sure yet. Uh, I mean, of course, things can always drop to zero for sure. But uh, yeah, we're above the skinny pink line. I'm feeling pretty bullish about it. Um, we're expecting it to go to potentially five cents, right? So if you could get something under 0 0.5, let's say you get it at four, nine, and it goes to, let's say, five cents, right? This will be almost, almost a 10x. It's a 9x. Almost a 10x. Mm, what a beauty. What a beauty, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, I guess that's it for today's Top Oracle Coins TA by Market Cap Top 10. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta-da!